With no further ado, Sam, <laughs> he's still my beating heart. Can you please welcome Asian Cup winning coach of the Socceroos, Ange Postacoglu! <laughs> Hey? I'll never live that down, will you? That suit, that suit got to work it out. Actually, before we before we get on and give you some accolades, can we give you a slight? Uh, it's it's well, it's not a whack or anything like that. But hey, we we we, we love as you. Ex, as no, 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 he hasn't spoken yet. But yeah, the uh, <laughs> we, uh, we 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 love we, we, you're a friend of the show. And we were oh, I think so. You're yeah. very yeah. 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 We were slightly disappointed that your first interview was uh, not with uh, these three boys, but with uh, a man by the name of Richard Bayless, and, and possibly with a little help from Sam Pang. Have a look at this. This was the f first interview. This is your first interview. How do you explain that? Yeah, I, I can't. Uh, I can't. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, very distracting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying not to get his eye. You were yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that whole so thing. Oh, but he, first things first, congratulations. Yes. Congrats. Well done. Thank it's you, a man. it's a major trophy. Australia's now won a major trophy. You get to go to the. Uh, the what's it called? The Confederations Cup yeah. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that little tournament. That little thing there. But what have you been doing? What, so after you win the Asian Cup, what happened the next day? Obviously, Frank Lowy gives you a Westfield, and then the day, <laughs> or at least a, a food court, and then after that, uh, what do you do? Life gets pretty normal pretty quickly. To be fair, I had a couple of days, obviously, reacquaint myself with the family. And All right, yeah. And, uh, Hello, my name's Ange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> who's this little kid? Yeah. 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 Well, you just he to... looked up at me and said, "Who's this bloke?" Yeah. 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 Again. So, yeah. Um, so you have a couple of days because you want to spend it with those sort of uh, closest to you, and then. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you just life goes on, mate. You've got other things to do, but uh, look, it was a, it was a fantastic month and. The thing, you, you always feel really relieved at the end of it. I know people sort of want you to say that you're celebrating for days on end. It's just a massive relief at right. the end that uh, all the hard work uh, paid off. It's good to see that oh, success God. hasn't... <laughs> it's good to see that success hasn't gone to your head, uh, Ange. And I say that by saying, thanks for dressing up tonight. Oh. <laughs> Authentic, Nike. <laughs> you know you don't have to take that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. This is, a, this is a proper Nike time. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's a good one. I've got, I've got a lot of questions. Real ones. Really? Real ones. <laughs> did, so the, the the night after the win, did you sleep? No, I mean I, I rarely sleep the night after a game. It's oh, okay. just uh, yeah, with everything that happens, all the emotions that run through your head, you don't really get to uh, uh, sort of relax at all. So. Uh, Head was spinning that night. I was exhausted, but didn't sleep much. No. Mm. Centre. Okay, they're not all going to be great questions. Yeah. I'm <laughs> say, aren't you glad you came on? I was going to say yeah. that uh, it, pretty clearly on that night, uh, and I've heard you say this before. You looked across. You saw the South Koreans looking a little tired. Yeah, more than just a little tired. You, you, you yeah. sensed that, that, yeah. that they had yeah. kind of. Uh, I mean, they put in a huge effort to try and catch up before the 90 minutes. We were a little bit worried in, in the stands, thinking, "Oh my God." This is yeah. not going to turn ugly. Mm. What what were your thoughts when you, when when that whistle went? Look, they, they it was a fantastic game, mm. and, and they put everything into it. Korea were good. unbelievably Very good side, good. And, and they worked awfully hard. And you know, they right till the final minute. I think that goal that they got sort of took everything out of them in the physical sense. And mm. you know, I've said as the boys were coming over to me for the talk, I, I kind of had a moment just to gather my thoughts. But as I did, I looked over and the Koreans were pretty much all on the deck, getting massages or, or getting some drinks, and and. You could tell physically they were struggling. When I went to address our players, um, none of them were on the ground. They were all kind of looking at me going, well, what do you want us to do now? Which suggests to me that you know, they weren't even feeling the effects of mm. fatigue. They were just saying, well, let's get it on. And, and you think going. that's... You know, you'd made a, a point of rotating the squad. You made a point of, of making sure fitness was, fitness was a priority. Is that the moment where it pays off, do you think? Oh, absolutely. And it, and it wasn't just the rotation. We we worked really hard with the players, the whole staff. And the players were really, they were fantastic. We were in camp 36, 37 days. It's a long time to be right. together as a group. And every minute of every day, they were accountable to somebody within the group in terms of what they were doing. who might take their spot? Is that what you mean? No, no, just in terms of the staff, because they were always monitoring what they were doing, what they were eating, how much rest they were getting. And um, they were so professional in that, 
you know, a whole sort of month and a half, a month and a bit we had, that mm. it all paid off in the end. And then they re the biggest thing I think is they really believed that that they were the strongest. I team. spoke to a couple of the players uh, before the China game uh, in Brisbane, and we're at the ho at the hotel. We're in the lobby of the hotel, and there. I were know, mate. I'm Every minute of every day was accounted for. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know him. He's, uh, his name is Matthew Leckie. He's quite good. You should keep your eye on him. But uh, and they, in that hotel, uh, for just because of the weirdness of that weekend, the English cricket team was staying there. That's the right, Indian man. cricket team was staying there, and we were staying there, and the Chinese team was staying there as well. And I, I said to one of the players, I said, "Oh, gee, there must be a fight at the buffet in the morning." <laughs> and he looked at me quite seriously and he said. Oh, no, no, we're not pigging out. We're being quite serious with our diet. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, mate, he's got on paleo. This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, you know, they were dead they were. serious about, right, they were, they, were, they were like on a mission, these guys. They were, and that's probably a good word. They were on a mission. And I think, as you said, when you get to that critical time in a game, you know, it's easy to talk about uh, having the energy and, and not being fatigued. But I think they really believed in everything we'd done. And... and mm. You know, even though it was extra time, it's half an hour of football. That's a lot of football at the end of 90 minutes. So when, so when you select that team, I know a, a clear, clearly a lot of uh, care goes into selecting a team. Do you actually select guys that n know that they've got a mission? Or as in, do you, do you go, oh, I worry about a, a high-maintenance kind of guy and I prefer to have a whole bunch of guys there that are, are more single-minded? No, I think, I mean, the whole process we went through post-World Cup of, you know, we went through about 40-odd players. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people got an opportunity. You gave they a did, lot of players did, an yeah. opportunity and, to get and, themselves and, in that sport. And that was the time to kind of figure out who we thought, you know, as a group would work well for mm. that tournament. And, and I was really all, confident. They all, they all, there was, no, there was not a weak link. Every, no, absolutely every, not. Everyone pulled their, Ab pulled their Absolutely weight. not. And, and, you know, even the guys who, you know, didn't play, you know, Mitch Langerak, mm. Eugene Galekovic, uh, Terry Antonis, Tommy Orr didn't have much of a, of a run, but 30. they trained the house down there. You know, every day they were working hard and, and um, it, it, that whole group... You don't have success like we did unless the whole group's contributing, and they all did. Mm. It's all, it's, all easy, it's easy for everyone to say that now. There's a lot of revisionist history that goes on, Ange, because after the World Cup to the Asian Cup, this is a serious question. No, just no, relax. No, no, no. <laughs> Ever, you, you, know, you tried a lot of players and was cop were copying some flack for, you know, 1-0 losses to Amman or Qatar or whatever. Same country, yeah, same. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we were, we were saying that you were just, you know, it's all part of your plan. You're trying to see who you actually want to play at the, in the Asian Cup. For instance, how validating was it for, um, from an A-League perspective? The last play was uh, Yurich yeah, to uh, Troisi. Both had played in the A-League recently. And Mackay and putting pressure Mackay on and then yeah. even Luongo, who... Um, mm -hmm. Third, third division. You wanted him off the field twenty minutes into the first game. That's fine. <laughs> he did, and he did. He did actually. Yeah. So how, how was, was how, did that? Was that a good feeling for? I don't him? think he was the only one. To be fair, uh, <laughs> there were a few really to jump off after that first twenty minutes. But look, I, as I said at the time, we had to be really disciplined about what we were going to do. The one thing the World Cup showed me was we needed some more depth, and I had, yeah, you know, we had one opportunity to do that. That was the six months before the Asia Cup. We, as much as people were writing us off, we were really determined to win it, and we believed we could. And but we're only going to do it if we were really disciplined in everything we did. And yeah, it is validating, but I guess more importantly, as I said, it's just a relief, mate. A lot of people, mm. you know, putting their necks on the line. A lot of people worked hard, and mm. they got the rewards. Hey, we spoke about him earlier, but really nice for Bresh mm. and t for Timmy and Bresh and even Galekovic as well. It, was it nice for you? Because I know that oh, I think you knew in advance that Bresh was thinking about retiring from international football. No, I, I hadn't had a discussion oh, really? okay. with, with, with Bresh about it. Um, mm, okay. And, you know, we... And, again, with Bresh, um, you guys probably know him well, you, you don't have too many conversations with, no, you know, with Bresh. He likes, to, he, likes, he likes to write a lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 I spoke, spoke to him on the weekend and I said, hey, Andrew's coming on the show. Oh, great, fantastic. Hey, do you want to give us a call? We'll, you know, we'll just say goodbye to you and all that kind of stuff. No, no, he says, I've retired. I'm done. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. That's, that's That was Bresh. He just oh. said, I'm done. He actually did say that, well, he, he told me that he had sort of made the decision before the tournament oh, started. He made his so decision, right. He had okay. made his decision, so I don't know okay. whether he passed it on. But, mm. but th this, is, this, is, this is an interesting sort of area. Like, uh, it, to, to the exit of any player, let alone someone who's considered a legend, golden, golden generation kind of stuff, how do you, as a manager, manage that? Because you don't want to just say, see you later, mate. Oh, no. Because and they do have their worth. They do actually oh, have absolutely. their worth. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and, you know, it, there are certain players who I think... Uh, are above the norm and, and, and deserve the right sort of send-off. And Bresh is certainly in that uh, sort of class. Um, and it's a difficult one for me because it really comes down to the player and the player's acceptance of the fact that um, 
you know, his, his time is up. And, and, you know, the conversation, or the brief conversation I had with Bresh was that, you know, I did say to him, at least he made the decision. And I think when a player makes a decision, it's, it's a lot easier then for, for him to, to live with it when somebody else tells, tells you that your time's up. Mm. It's very difficult. But regardless of which way it goes, the important thing is that guys like Bresh, and there's others who have retired recently, they deserve the right sort of send-off. You know, they, they deserve that is true. You know, the accolades that a lot of people watch them for a very long time mm-hmm. and have them as their heroes. And mm. I'd hate to think they just drift off into, yeah, I think you know, that's quietly a, into retirement. And, and even someone point. like Bresh, if we've got to drag him out kicking and screaming, we'll make sure that he gets the right sort of I agree with that. He's just sort of disappeared into the ether, which is... But it was, it's a really nice moment it's for him. It's all nice uh, for you to say Bresh should have gone three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've only got two more questions, so no, you've got one, then he's got a serious go. one. Oh, okay. So you go. Here we go. <laughs> What a great career. It's not over yet. I know there's lots to go. But <laughs> where, do, where does this rank? Asian Cup, win, NSL title with South Melbourne. Where does it... Where, how can you compare the two? Yeah, no, look, I, I will not separate any of the teams I've had success with, whether that's NSL, A-League uh, or, or Asia Cup. Oh, yeah, 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 you won that. I forgot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was good, man. That was, yeah, that was good. I, they bad. were good teams. Well done. Not bad. Yeah, yeah they were good teams. So, yeah. I, yeah. And, I, and look, I'm not, a, I'm not a great one at looking back, but those kind of teams and the people you used to share with, equally special. You're a good coach, man. I've just, I've just, <laughs> I've just, I've just sort of put it all together. You know what I mean? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, look, there's, a quote, there's a quote for Andrew's book. Yeah. Yeah. You're, You're a, a good, good coach, coach, man. Yeah. 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 And it's before you go, look, we do have to go. A, 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 a serious, serious question. Serious question. question. Come on, you, you, please. The last 18 months have been a bit of a roller coaster. We've had, we've had a, a, a few highs and a few lows. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Um, the next, the next three years are going to be very, very important to us, heading towards the Confederations Cup, the World Cup. How, how, how do you see those three years panning out for yourself and for the team? Look, um, you know, I guess we've left a pretty high uh, benchmark and expectations <laughs> rise now. Yeah. And, uh, it's it's going to be really challenging for everyone involved it is, to yeah. make sure that we keep, uh, we keep pushing on. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> That is, uh, that, that's a pretty big tournament, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, yeah. it's a massive tournament. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be hugely challenging for us. Okay. Well, right, thanks. Wow. Hey, well, can you please thank Ange Foster yeah. This has been a production of Fox Sports.